we shall now study data entry form part 3 in this module we shall add the drop down list the drop down list for qualifications so uh, let us begin to add it so let us first of all recollect what we have already we have the text box for email id we have a text box for date of birth and now we have to add a text box for uh, now we have to add a drop down list so we'll add the code here but before adding let us see what we need for it this is the drop down list that we shall draw there drop down list will contain display display value and a backend value so for example if we display btech the backend would be a code like b mtech the backend code would be m so to display data in a drop down we need two things per item one is the display value the other is the backend value so this means we need a view model that contains both the things and if you remember in our database we have already created a table table called tbl qualifications base this table has already been created by us let us have a look at the table first go to database explorer click this one or we can okay it will show us both the things so here we have our tbl qualifications base and it has qualification code and description we can view all the records show table data and it contains uh, this data b for b tech m for m tech a for bca so we have to basically display this table in the drop down list so things are very crystal clear that we have to actually read this table and send it as a model uh, to our drop down list uh, in one of our previous lectures we had we had discussed that view bag can be used to store view bag view bag can be used to store data for drop down lists radio button lists because that data is not a data in the true sense it is actually some information that is required to display the data entry form the data for data entry form for this drop down list is not the data of the uh, item that we are discussing at present the data of the item is qualification qualification means just one item out of it whichever is chosen but the data of this drop down is something else one is data of the entire form the other is data of the drop down list the data of these things like drop down list radio button list check box list or any small discrete data that is best sent through view bag view bag is ideal for that so what we shall do is we shall send this data from the controller or from the action to this view in a view bag we'll make use of the view bag property we could have sent it in a view model also but that is not the right practice here even that would work but that is not the suitable right practice here the best one is to use a view bag let us do that now so this is our home controller and this is our index method and this is the index on post 